what's up guys welcome to the channel i'm gonna show you a few of the things i've been doing around the house just to change the way it looks it's very subtle it's very cheap it's very very okay it was this i can't remember how much it was but it was from amazon and i want to say it was twenty dollars next we have this bench, this is from walmart.com. It was $70 and inside are my catering. But it's a storage, I love those because the thing next to my bed is also a storage. It's a way to keep things minimalized. And this rug is from wayfair.com. It is $39. Our bookshelf. And that was also from Amazon. It was $26. Right here, we have our jewelry organizer. And it was from Walmart, $9.88. And our shoe organizer, y'all, um, from Walmart as well. And I think it was $13.88. In the filming area, I added these covers to the chairs because, um, they had flowers on them and this was they were each from Walmart and they were $26 EP what's up guys I'm going to do a haul today which I don't ever really do but since I had this stuff it seemed like a haul worthy thing to do I don't know I don't have content maybe that's what it is anyways Kimana you want to say hi I don't want to show my dirty ass kitchen right now it looks kind of crazy okay <laughs> You gotta come over here and say hi. Over. Oh, hi. <laughs> so I went to Big Lots of Michaels today. We got Kimana a lot of paint. So let me show you the paint. And we got this basket for Wolf's Toys. So this was on sale. And it was originally, um, holy shit. It was, four, it was $44 and we got it for $14.97. That did not look like $44 worth of a basket. <laughs> I thought it was $30. Bunch of new paints because somebody is interested in buying her art. More textures, but as you can see, she's been doing her art thing today. So I'm excited for her. We need to get more paint because Michaels was out and yeah. So then, what did I else did I get at Michael's? Oh, I'm trying these out, and it is a divine watermelon, and it's candy filled with chili and lime and a touch of sea salt. And then we got this from Michael's, pineapple galore, and it's the same thing. It has chili and sea salt. So those were from Michael's, and this candle, and it is eucalyptus ginger. And this smells really good. So then I was like, I want to go to Big Lots because that's where I get my dried fruits from. And they didn't have the normal stuff that we get, which is the tamarind and um, what else do we get, Kimana? What? When we get to Big Lots, the dried fruits we get, we get the strawberries, we get tamarind with chili, oh, we get guava. guava. Yeah. Um, do we get watermelon or no? Uh, yeah, I think. I think. So that's what... I normally get so we tried something new which we've been wanting to try and it's this crispy fruit it's um, pineapple flavor they were $6.50 a piece I don't know why tangerine is six dollars but it's six dollars and then strawberries are six fifty. so I got two of those two of those and one of the tangerine because you just never know and then apple with chile and I don't know how much they were, I believe they were $5. And then pineapple, coconut, and yeah, it's $5. And I also got the blue, dried blueberries. They're unsweetened, so I know they're gonna be tart as hell. And fruit jerky, y'all. So pineapple with chili and salt. And I got two of those. And then an organic pineapple pineapple with coconut and I got two of those I thought I got two of everything but I guess not so then I got apple with coconut oh here's the other one freeze-dried grapes which I'm really excited to get 
got banana chips that are sour cream and onion flavored, so I'm kind of curious. And one that was barbecue. They were both on clearance, so you know nobody's tasting it. <laughs> I got cow pus for my son and Spanish style rice from Uncle Ben's for when I'm lazy, which is quite often now that it's hot. And then the cereals, they were $2.30. So cornflakes, frosted, cornflakes, frosted Cheerios, and blueberry waffle cereal. I wanted to try the blueberry. So Kevin picked up two peanut butters, and I got a cream cheese icing for this um, banana cake. I don't know what kind of icing goes with that, and I hope that's right, but I don't know. Two agaves, which are really cheap there. They're less than $3. A rug from Michael's. What else did I get? Oh, this hot sauce. And two nail polishes that are really pretty. And they were $2. I could have got that at Dollar Tree for a dollar. but I got a new speaker because mine is rest in peace to it and some antibacterial spray so we can still wipe down our stuff even though the CDC is trying to play me and act like I don't need to wipe down my stuff so I got two of those and this Quaker Oats even though I don't eat Quaker Oats so I don't know why he picked Quaker Oats but I'm just gonna let it slide um, and then this was from a few days ago I was looking for this I had a drink with a neighbor and it was actually really good oh, the dog needs to go out so don't look at my kitchen, y'all. Just don't. It's bad right now. We've been making our stuff. So I made my hair stuff yesterday and she made her hair stuff today. So the kitchen is not doing well. Amazon, I got an updated herbal medicine book because I have some, but they're a little bit older. I don't think medicine changes throughout time, but just in case. Yeah, this looks very different. My other book smells amazing. I love the smell of old books. And then my wife sent me this. And <laughs> I'm going to open that for my birthday. She sent me this, so I'm excited. And <laughs> yeah, she put her last name on it. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. It has tape, of course, so that's fun. Hold on. Well, he never wore these, <laughs> and I feel like the girls can. Okay, you can use them for them. He's not probably gonna use it. Oh, this is how it looks inside. This is adorable. Oh, what is it up here? What oh, there's crystals. Yes. Oh, shit, I got more. I gave this is Halo Santo. Yeah, I gave Kimana my citrine, and now she has it. And I have a quartz. I, did I give you a quartz? No. <laughs> and. Oh, I can't give you this one, but I have one. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I don't remember how to say this. Selenite, I think. I think I, I heard of that. An amethyst, which I think I- That just, one was obvious. Yeah. What is I this? have that one too. Yeah, I can't identify these two. Or this one. I don't know, I have to look these up. So, <sighs> thank you so much, wifey, I love you. All right, well. I didn't really fix it. I just, yeah. I just picked up a door that was on the floor. So, over here, we have where I keep my supplements and other things. Kimono with my mirror right there. And then I got this tapestry because I'm into abstract. And it kind of goes with this colors. Um, and then I have this dog right here. Don't mind my trash. And this little vacuum is trash. I'm gonna paint my desk gray and put some salad. Mm, yeah, so pretty much um, that's the rest of the stuff going on in my room. So this is how it looks. Um, pretty much right now. And then at first this was gonna be my accent wall. But now I think it's gonna be this is gonna be my accent wall and the colors that I have chosen for it vary from day to day. The day. 
so um, here's my setup of what my friend got me right here looking gorgeous and then yesterday I didn't unbox it but I had my own uh, chakra and a little light I can't ever pronounce it there so if you sleep with that one under your pillow it's supposed to help you with like being able to fall asleep which is something that I um, always have issues with is falling asleep so I don't know if I showed you guys my tea lights I have I got four of them I gave one to came on uh, two or next to my record player it gives it a whole vibe two right here and then one in my bathroom and I don't know where Kimana put hers but it's over there so it's a whole like crystal vibe over there with the crystals oh and I didn't show you these but I ended up getting these to add to this section which I like them they came with their own comb and you had to comb their hair but yeah that's about it it was very subtle it was like little cheap upgrades to make it look nice in here and a little more mature but it kind of fits me um i want to get some shelving done and a person that i watch on youtube had made an altar for her ancestors and i've been wanting to find some way to um, honor my grandparents so i was thinking of getting a little table and making an altar in my room so that I can honor my grandparents and yeah it's just fitting because where his crate is is where I would want the altar but I don't know where else to put his crate and technically it's been going on top of the bench but I don't want it to look crowded and <sighs> I hate clutter so I hate when I see clutter. I hate when things seem out of order. Like on my desk, a lot of things are out of order. Start with sanding down my desk soon. Changing the color of that. The sander is $13 on walmart.com. So I'm probably going to order that probably today. Because that's what I have to do. Um, and then pick the color. I've been going back and forth between a dark gray or a matte black. So... I don't know. I love gray. Gray is my favorite color and yellow. Gray and yellow are my favorite colors. So, um, I don't know. I was like, how can I put that on both? But I don't want it to look kind of tacky. I want it to look modern. Update the knobs. Simple stuff like that. All together, that should cost me somewhere around $40 to upcycle it. See what is what. These upgrades, Lord. These upgrades. <laughs> But I mean, I figure if I do them little by little, like do my sink the way that I want it, then eventually do the bathroom sinks the way that I want it because I want them also to be like deep sinks. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna um, slowly but surely like get things the way that I want them to look here. And those little upgrades will help when I sell the house um, by next year probably. So <laughs> there's that and I also like a big big huge selling point is curb appeal so I have to have to have to get the front and the back taken care of. Let's go back and forth with this stuff so I don't know I'm prone to breaking out to rashes when it's hot. I'm My primary care back in San Diego told me not to be in the sun too much because I would break out all right here so I definitely have to be careful with the sun. Which is unfortunate because that's how you get natural vitamin D without having to rely on a supplement. And that honestly is like what I am um, I prefer is that I have vitamin D supplements, bioavailability and um, high absorbency, which is the best type of <sighs> supplements to get. That means that you get almost all of the nutrients that come from the vitamin versus it breaking down and you get very little by the, take, the time you take your vitamins so you definitely want to get those types but anyways y'all i love you so much i'm gonna end this video here like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video okay bye